For the first time since the start of the pandemic, the city of San Diego was addressing the surge in coronavirus cases crossing the border into San Diego. Officials attribute the influx to legal crossings from Tijuana. News 8's Lamar Abrams reports on what officials are now doing to get a handle on the new crisis. Officials here in San Diego say they're trying to get ahead of the crisis, donating personal protective equipment and creating a brand new task force to make sure Mexico's coronavirus struggles don't cross the border. But health officials say they already have. The U.S.-Mexico border remains closed to non-essential travel, but officials say hospitals in Chula Vista continue seeing a large number of COVID-19 cases due to legal crossings from Tijuana. They include workers in high contact jobs such as grocery stores, driving delivery vans, and working in personal care positions. This virus knows no boundaries. We are united and stronger than ever. In his daily press briefing Tuesday, San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner joined Tijuana Mayor Arturo Gonzalez Cruz, announcing the donation of 1,000 3D printed face shields and five ventilators for use in Tijuana's hospitals, as well as a new bi-national regional task force the San Diego Region Border Unified Command, charged with monitoring and responding to the impact. The Border Command meets twice per week, shares data. CBS 8 also collected data from the county's Office of Border Health. It shows of the 388 non-resident COVID cases in San Diego County, 33 are Mexican nationals. Officials add of the recent cases diagnosed at the two hospitals in Chula Vista, at least half report travel across the border. So what prompted the city to act now? We asked. It's basically our job to um, look at any hazards within. Executives at both Sharp and Scripps have written federal officials in this letter obtained by CBS 8. They're asking for urgent action on behalf of health care providers on the U.S.-Mexico border, including temperature checks and a mandatory quarantine for anyone entering who's suspected of being infected. For now, Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Chad Wolf says he will brief the media Wednesday about his recent visit to the San Ysidro Port of Entry. Thanks a little more.